So Ananya is saying Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Nobody else knows? Yatika is also saying Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Correct. The days are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What is Mr. Live classes we are recording? Yes, Mukesh. We will provide recording of the classes also. But yeah, we prefer, like we advise you not to miss the classes because in the live classes you can ask questions. That is not possible if you watch recordings, okay? But yeah, we will provide live classes recordings also that you can check it out. Any other doubt or query to me? Ananya is telling the time. Okay. 8 to 9.15. Is this time correct, children? Does anybody know? Is this response correct? Midansh, it is about the time. So Ananya already knows what Rajan sir is going to ask. So she has already responded. Now other children can also respond if this is correct or incorrect. What are their views? If you would like to add something to this. Any doubt in the meanwhile, Kian, Rishit, Ananya, Medhansh, Yatika? So we have two Ananyas here. Hmm. The timing is correct, I think. The yeah, timing, timing is, is correct. correct. That is Are right. Them? Nobody else knows. Do anyone have any doubt or query or like shall we start with the session? You can write yes, no, or we can start. Yatika, why are you so sad? What happened? Why so serious? Yeah, give that smile. That's, it was missing. Okay. So should we start now? Start with the demo, everyone? Give a thumbs up. Okay, so Kian and Anya and Medhansh want. Okay, Yatika, all right. Everyone wants it. So I think we can begin now. Sure, ma'am, we can start. So what do you say, ma'am? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys, any guesses which topic we are going to deal today? Okay, you need a hint. Okay, so we will be dealing with the topic which you will uh, require in every day's life. Okay, this is the most important and most precious in our life. So now tell me. Yes, that's correct. I got the answer from Mukesh. It's time. That's correct. Very good. Time is very precious. And yes, we are going to deal with that today. Okay? Okay. So let me share my PPT. So today we are going to deal with the time and calendar. Whenever you come across the word time or calendar, you must have come across these words. You must have heard about these words. Time, second, minute, hour, days, weeks, right? Every day you come across these things. Whenever you have to know what's the date today, you need to know about the calendar, right? What's the time? You have to look at your watch, right? Again, which weekday it is or which weekend it is, again, you have to look at the calendar, right? So you are coming across these words every day. Even if I ask you, when is your birthday? Then also you need to know the time as well as your calendar, right? You should know the weekdays, you should know the month, you should know the time, right? So you are always coming across these words and this is very important tool 
time tells you the events that have already taken already occurred in the past which is occurring presently in the present time and which will be occurring in the future also okay so it is an ongoing sequence of events which are held over the years so the events which has already occurred in the past you come across all those events the events which are presently going on what are you doing presently that is uh, denoted by this okay and then again the upcoming ones okay the events which you are going to uh, see in the future okay in the same way calendar calendar is also a tool which is actually used to mark the time over here the passage of time okay how here in calendar you know that we have months okay we have weekdays and everything is very important okay so you will be going across all these things now tell me before sharing any next slide just tell me if you all know i suppose you must be knowing how many hours we have in one day you can just put it in the chat box today okay sorry i just can't unmute you guys today so yes that's correct it's 24 hours very good okay so now tell me how many days you have in a week outstanding everyone knows that very good now tell me one hour is equal to how many minutes yes very good 60 minutes very good okay now you all know that there are seven days in a week right now can you tell me how many weekdays you have how many weekdays? Yes, there are five weekdays. Very good. And now how many weekends? Yes. Okay. Two. Very good. Now tell me uh, how many months are there in a year? absolutely correct very good everyone excellent so it's 12 now let me see who can answer this question which is the shortest month of the year fantastic outstanding very good february is the shortest month of the year here we have either 28 days or 29 days, right? Okay, what is a leap year? Does anyone know what is a leap year? Yes, tell me. Okay, I got a response from Mukesh, but uh, okay. Can you be specific? Like one extra day is added, that's correct. But leap year occurs after every, how many years? Yes, that's correct. It occurs after every four years, very good. Okay guys, now tell me how many days we have in one year? Total number of days in a year. Yes, I'm asking for a regular year, okay, not for the leap year. Yes, that's correct. For an ordinary year, we have 365. Kian, it's not 355, better. It's 365, okay? We have 365 days and when it's a leap year, it just one day is added to that and it becomes 366, okay? Now tell me how many weeks we have in a year? The number of weeks. Yes, Ananya, that's correct. Uh, no, Rishit and Kian, it's not correct. Try, try. 
No, Medhansh, it's not correct. Come on, try. Easy, this is again easy. No, yes, Mukesh, that's correct. It's uh, 52, Ananya and Mukesh, two of them have given me the correct answer. That's 52, 52 weeks are there, okay? And yes, when you have the regular year, we are still left with one extra day. And when you have the uh, leap year, you are still left with two extra days. Okay, after 52 weeks, we have one extra day in the ordinary years and two extra days in the leap year. Okay, so now let's go on. So here you already know these things that one day we have 24 hours, okay? And then again, seven days makes one week. Out of those seven days, there are five weekdays and two weekends. You can see over here, it's written over here that there are five weekdays. What are those five days? From Monday to Friday, okay? And the two weekends. So two weekends are Saturday and Sunday, okay? Now, the first day, many of the kids get confused over here and they say the first day as Sunday. No, that is a weekend. Okay, so the first day is always considered as the weekdays, which is Monday over here. Okay, even the officially also, if you go, then also the first day is Monday. Okay. Now, here you all know that Earth takes a complete rotation on its axis, right? So it takes one day to complete that over here. That's why we have 24 hours. Okay, now we'll be coming across some more terms related to the time and calendar. There are 12 months, you all know. Okay, a month has four to five weeks. Yes, in few of the months, we have four weeks, whereas in the other months, we have five weeks, right? Now, if I ask you the number of days in a week, you all know that it's seven, right? If I just change the question and I ask you, how many days are there in five weeks? So what you are going to do, if I'm asking you for five weeks, definitely you have seven days in a week. And now I'm asking you for five days. So simply multiply uh, five weeks. So simply multiply by five, okay? What is seven times five? Seven fives are? Yes, that's correct. It's 35, okay? Now, if I ask you how many days are, this is days, okay? Do not forget to write down the unit. Now, if I ask you how many days are there in eight weeks? Can anyone tell me how many days are there in eight weeks. You have to find the number of days. Yes, everyone have given me the correct answer. Very good, outstanding. It's 56, okay? Seven times eight, that is 56. Again, if I ask you for 10 weeks, so seven times 10, that is 70 days, okay? Now, all the months of the year, we have already written the names. You must be aware of all the months, right? So, January is considered as the first month. February is the shortest month. Okay. Uh, so, there are few months with 31 days and few months with 30 days. The, so, everyone knows how to go with the knuckles. Do you guys know how to use the knuckles and find out which month has 31 days and 30 days? Anyone? Okay, Ananya is knowing. Both the Ananyas are knowing, okay. Kian is also aware, okay. Good. Medansh is aware. Yathika is aware, okay. Mukesh, would you please turn on your camera, Vita? I would be happy. Okay, so... <laughs> Better just rename your display name, okay? Okay. 
so here we have uh, some of the months with 31 days and some of the months with 30 days which you will be learning with the help of knuckles also okay there are two types of knuckles the bumped ones and the gap ones okay so here the bumped knuckles wherever you get the bumped ones you have 31 days over there so how many months have 31 days we have seven months with 31 days okay so when you come across these knuckles january february march april may june july we are just ending up at the bump knuckle over here july again we can just take another hand or you can just continue in the same hand after july again you will be going to the bumped ones this is august september october november and december okay so when you will be just going through the knuckles you'll come across the number of months which have 31 days okay now we have one exception over here which is the month of february which is neither having 30 days nor 31 days it is having either 28 or 29 28 is for the ordinary years and 29 is for the leap year okay so here we got one month which is exceptional over here okay and the remaining four months here we have four months with 30 days okay and when you just add up all these days over here then you will be getting total number of days in a year which is 365 clear so we have seven months with 31 days we have four months with 30 days okay and one is the exceptional so seven plus four 11 plus one this is 12 clear now let's go to the next slide There are 365 days in a year. You all know this. And every fourth year, we get a leap year. A leap year has 366 days, right? The extra one day is added to the month of February. Again, you know that, which is having 29 days, okay? Now, here we have some leap years like 2000, 2004, 2008. 12 so you can see that there is a gap of four years right just from 2000 to 2004 there is a gap of four years again if you just look for the next slot over your next set of years 2004 after that we have 2008 that is again the gap of four years so after every four years we get leap year so you just need to add plus four plus four to that now here they're asking you which leap year comes next after year 1976? So how to find it out? You just need to add 4 to it, right? So what is 1976 plus 4? Can you tell me? What will be the next leap year? Yes, that's correct. It's 1980. Very good. So here... The next leap year is 1980. We have a century years over here. We have this 2000. This is my century years, okay? So whenever you get any such years, or you have like a... 2100 2200 if you have any such years then what you have to do you just have to divide by 400 and check it out whether this is exactly divisible or not exactly divisible means you should leave no remainder okay so if you find that the century years are exactly divisible by 400 then that year is your leap year there you don't need to divide by four Instead, you need to divide by 400 just for the century years, okay? Now, how do you find 
the number of weeks as you guys were not aware of the number of weeks in a year okay now see this has been taught over here so we have 365 days in a year and there are seven days in a week i need to find out how many weeks are there correct so you will be just dividing this 365 by 7. So when you divide this, you get 52 weeks and one remainder. That one remainder means one day is still left. Okay. There is one extra day, which is also known as odd days. One is an odd number. So this is odd days. Okay. So you just have to simply divide 365 by 7 and check it out and you will be getting the number of weeks in one year. Okay. Is there any doubt to anyone till here? Anyone? Any queries? You can put it in the chat box. No queries. All understood. Thumbs up. Just show me a thumbs up. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, you have already gone through all these things. Okay. One week, seven days. One year, we have 365 days. One year, we have 52 weeks. One leap year, 366 days. One year, we have 12 months. One month have four weeks, four to five weeks, okay? Now, what is a decade? One decade means 10 years, okay? So, if someone asks you, what is a decade? One decade means 10 years. Now, if I ask you, what is two decade? Two decade means 2 into 10. What is 2 into 10? How many years? Yes, that would be 20 years, okay? So, two decade means 20 years, clear? So, whenever there is a set of 10 years, then you will be saying one decade, okay? Now, if you have a set of 100 years, then we call it as century. Yes, Kian, that's correct. It's century, okay? Now, when you have a set of 1,000 years, we call it as millennium. Yes. Okay. Now, the years from 1900 to 1999 is considered as the 20th century. See, whenever you have to find out that which century is going on, what you have to do? You have to take the present year, first two numbers, okay? And just add one to it. You will be getting the century. So what is 19 plus 1? 20th century, right? Now, can you tell me in which century we are living right now presently? Presently, we are living in 21st century. Yes, no. 2023 is the year. I'm asking you the century. So what you have to do? 2023. This 2023 is the year currently going on. When you have to find out which century we are presently living in, you just have to take this 20, the first two numbers, add one to it. So what is 20 plus one? This is 21st century. Okay. So you all are the kid of 21st century. Right now, we are living in 21st century, okay? The generation is 21st century right now, okay? Okay. Now, let's come across some questions. Are you guys ready? Okay. So, here is a calendar provided to you for the year. 2007 and for the month April okay now they are telling you that if 12th April 2007 
was Thursday. So here you get 12 over here. Now this 12 is Thursday. Okay, you can see this is Thursday. What was the day on 30th April 2007? So 30th April 2007. Can you tell me what's the day? Yes. So everyone gave me the correct answer. That is correct. It's Monday. Okay. So here you can just refer to the calendar given and you can straight away answer. So this is first type of question that you might get, okay? They will be giving you the calendar for any particular month and year, and they'll be asking you the questions related to that, okay? Now let's go to the second question. Anushka's grandmother went to USA for a vacation on 4th June, 2010. She came back on 26th August 2010. How long was her vacation? Okay, she went to US on 4th June 2010 and she returned back on 26th August 2010. So can you tell me how long was her vacation? Just try it out guys. Find out how you're going to do. Twenty two days? No, that's not correct. Look at the months, guys, carefully. Look at the months. It's not the same month. One is June and the other one is August. Yes, Midhash, that's correct. Ananya, that's correct. Mukesh, that's correct. Okay. So, uh, Ananya Mishra, no better. Kian, even you are not correct. You guys missed one day. Okay. Okay. So, see, I'm explaining you how you're going to do this. So for such type of questions, first, you will be just writing down the months that are coming in her vacation, okay? So there is a month of June over here. Then you have the month of July, okay? Then you have the month of August. And then you will be finding out the dates over here, okay? So she went on 4th. Now, can you tell me June month has how many days we have? How many days in the month of June? Yes, we have 30 days, right? So she went on 4th. Now, if you are just finding any range over here, any number of days over here within a given range, like 4th June to 26th August, you have to find out the number of days within this given range, right? So whenever you get such type of question, always remember a rule. There is one rule that you will be adding one number, okay? Adding any particular one date. You can add whichever you want, okay? So you will be adding one date and you will be just excluding the other date. So include and exclude, okay? Exclude the other date. You have to include only one date, whichever you wish, just include one and exclude the other, okay? So here, if we are just excluding four and there are 30 days, so 30 minus four, that means 26 more days are left over here, correct? July month, she is spending the whole month over there. So July, how many days we have? 31. And August, you will be just including this. If you have already excluded this fourth, you have not counted this. So now you need to include this. So she came back on 26th. You will be including all 26 days. Okay. 
So here I am including and the other one I am excluding. Now just add up all these days. So 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 1 makes 13. So you have 3 carry over 1. Now 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, 6 plus 2, 8. So you are getting 83 days. Is that clear? Okay. So please focus on the months. Like uh, initially everyone was giving me the answer as 22 days. So I know what you have done. 26 minus 4 you guys have done and you got 22 days, right? But that's not correct because they are not talking about the same month, okay? They are talking about the different months. So you have to be very careful, okay? Now let's go to the next question. How many hours are there in a week? So you guys know that in one week, there are seven days, right? Basically, they're asking you how many hours are there in seven days? You know, for one day, how many hours you have? So calculate for seven days. Come on, find out. Yes, Medash, Ananya, Kian, Yathika. Uh, both the Ananyas, yes, Mukesh. Everyone got the correct answer, which is 168. Very good, outstanding. So here we have 24 hours in one day. So 24 times 7. which is 168, okay? Now let's move on to the next. How are 22 days to be written in weeks? Now, if you have to write down in weeks, then what? how you are going to calculate this? Ananya Mishra, just check your answer better. Yes, Ananya Agarwal, answer is correct. Mukesh, answer is correct. Okay. Yes, Medanj, that's correct. So there are 22 days written over here. You have to convert in weeks. One week, we have seven days. Convert. You just have to divide by seven. So seven times three is 21. You are left with one remainder. That becomes your numerator. And again, seven is your denominator. So this is three, one by seven. Okay. Now coming to the next. If the Independence Day in 1994 was on Monday, on which of the following dates will be Sunday? Come on. When do we celebrate the Independence Day? Can you tell? When do we celebrate Independence Day? They are talking about India, okay? So when do we celebrate Independence Day in India? Yes, that's correct. It's 15th August. Okay, so basically what they're telling you is that 15th August 1994, 15th August 1994 was Monday. Okay, so on which of the following dates will be Sunday? You have to find out. Come on, find out. What are you guys going to do over here?
Any idea, anyone? Just try it out. At least give it a try. No. The option is not given. Whatever answer you guys are giving, the option is not given better. You have to select the answer from the option. Okay. Okay, Ananya, no, your answer is not correct. Even Medash, your answer is also not correct. Okay, let me help you guys, okay? Whenever you have such type of questions, see, you already know that 15th August was Monday. They are asking for Sunday. That means the previous day, 14th August, that was Sunday, correct? Now, 14th August was Sunday, but this is not given in your option. Now, what you have to do, if you add 7 to every number over here, you will be getting the next Sunday. So what is 14 plus 7? If you just add 14 plus 7, what will you get? Tell me. 14 plus 7, that would be 21, correct? Again, 21 plus 7, that would be 28. Do we have 21st August or 28th August as the option? No, we don't have, okay? Now let's go with the next one. If again, you add seven, do not add seven randomly over here. You just have to think August has how many days? August has 31 days. So you're left with 29, 30, 31. And then you will be coming into the next month, which is September, okay? So one, two, three, and four, okay? So the next Sunday will be on 4th September. So now when you add 7 to it, you are getting 4th September. Okay. Now, again after 4th September, if you add 7 plus 7, what will you get? Tell me. After 4th September, 4 plus 7 makes 11. That means the next Sunday would be 11th September. Do we have any such option? No. Again, if you add plus 7, what will you get? If you add plus 7 to it, you will be getting 18 September. Do we have such option? Yes. So the answer would be 18 September, okay? So what we are doing, we are simply adding seven to the number given, okay? And you are getting the answer for this. So first find out what is the Sunday over here. 15th is Monday, that means 14th would be Sunday. And if you just add seven to every number, you will be getting one of these dates, okay? Is this clear to everyone? Okay, now let's move on. If 14th February 1984 was Tuesday, what was the day on 13th February 1985? So they're asking for the next year. This is not for the same year. They're asking for the next year. So 14th February 1984 was Tuesday. Now, 13th February, 1985, you have to find out. Come on, do it, everyone. Try it out. This is very simple. If you just uh, use your brain, this is very simple. Ananya, you can put it in the chat box.
Okay. So now let's find out. So guys, they are asking you for 13th February. Okay, do one thing. Now, if you look at 13th February over here, 13th February would be which day? In 1984. This would be Monday, correct? Yes, this is a Monday, okay. Now here, this 1984, is it a leap year or an ordinary year? Tell me. Is this a leap year or an ordinary year? Is this divisible by four? Check it out. Yes, that's correct. It's a leap year, very good. Now, since this is a leap year, in leap year, how many extra days we have? We have 366 days. When you find out for the weeks, you get 52 weeks. And how many extra days? Plus two extra days, right? Which is known as even days over here because two is an even number. So we are left with two extra days, which is two even days, right? And here 1984 is a leap year, so you will be having 366 days. And they're asking for next year, 13 February 1985, correct? So what you will be doing? Monday is the day given for 13 February 1984, plus two extra days if you add. What will you get? Monday plus two days if you add, what will you get? You will be getting Wednesday. That is your answer for the next year. That's it. Clear? So here your answer would be Wednesday. Whenever they're asking you for the next consecutive year, you just have to look for the number of extra days that you have. Okay, you have uh, 52 weeks means 50 after having 52 weeks, after adding 52 weeks, you will be again getting Monday, right? Now you add two days, which is the extra days, and you will be getting Wednesday. Clear? Okay. What is the period of time in hours and minutes from a quarter past nine in the morning till half past two in the afternoon? Okay, quarter past nine. Can you tell me what do you mean by this time? Quarter past nine. Anyone tell me the timing. What is quarter past nine in the morning? Yes, uh, Ananya, that's correct. It's 9.15 a.m. Okay, quarter means 15 minutes. 15 minutes have passed nine. That means now it is 9.15. And since it is the morning time, it would be a.m. Okay. And now they are asking you to find out the period of time from 9.15 a.m. to half past two. What do you mean by half past two? Can you tell me? Half past two. That is 2.30 p.m. Okay, you have to find out the duration over here. What's the time duration? What's the period of time over here? So let's calculate from 9.15, 10.15, 11.15, 12.15, 1.15, 2.15. You are already getting five hours and still you are left with 15 more minutes because you have reached till 2.15. And if you add 15 more minutes, you will be getting 2.30. Correct. So you have five hours, 15 minutes, which is option D. Clear? You just have to find out the period of time over here.
Next question. School vacation began from 14th April 1996 to 10th June 1996. Find the number of days of the vacation. Again, the range question. Let me see if you guys can do it or not. Find out, come on. We have already discussed such type of question. So you can easily go for it. Again, you will be including one and excluding the other, okay? 14th April to 10th June, find the number of days of the vacation. So first write down the months over here, April, May and June. April, how many days are there in April? 30 days, now 30 minus 14, you are left with what? 30 minus 14. <laughs> 16 days, correct, right? Now, May month has how many days? Yes, this is 31, okay? Now, tell me, June, June you will be including because you already excluded 14. Now, June you will be including 10. So, just add them up. What will you get? This is 57 days. Very good. Few of them got correct answer. That's good. Okay. Republic Day in the year 1996 fell on Friday. When will Teacher's Day fall on? So Teacher's Day is celebrated on which day? Teacher's Day is celebrated on which date? Tell me the date. When do we celebrate Teacher's Day? Yes, Medhash, that's correct. Others, come on, I'm waiting for your responses. When do we celebrate Teacher's Day? No one knows except Medhansh. <laughs> okay, so he has sent the answer to everyone. It's 5th September. Okay, so we celebrate Teacher's Day on 5th September. Just like we celebrate Children's Day on 14th November. Okay, so your Teacher's Day is celebrated on 5th September every year. Okay. And uh, Republic Day, when do we celebrate Republic Day? This everyone must be knowing. Yes, that's correct. It's 26th January, okay? Now what they're telling you is, on 26th January, it was Friday, okay? In the year 1996. They are talking about the year 1996, that on 26th January, it was Friday. Now you have to find out when will the teacher's day fall on. So when will, on which day the teacher's day will fall on? Come on, find out. This is very interesting question. Let me see who can give the correct answer. Okay, I'll give you one hint. You just look for the number of months that are coming in between and write down the number of days. Then you will be adding the number of days just for the range that you do in the same manner. Come on, go for it.
Okay. So now let me help you out, guys. Okay. So we have the January month over here. Then we have February, then March. Then April, then May, then June, July, August, September. Now you might be wondering why we are finding the number of days over here. Yes, because you will get to know how many weeks we have. And if you just calculate for the same number of weeks over here, you will get the exact day and then you can find out the days for the remainder. That will be the best one, easiest method. Okay, so here we have 26th January. Now, how many days are left? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. In January, we have 31 days. So, there are five days left. Okay, now coming to the next February. February, we have this 96. 96 is a leap year or an ordinary year. Tell me, 96. 96 is a leap year or an ordinary year? No, Ananya, it's not ordinary. It's a leap year, okay? This 96 can be divisible by 4, okay? So 96 is your leap year. Now, if you have leap year, February month is having 29 days, correct? So I just wrote 29. Now March month has complete 31 days. Next, uh, April has 30 days. May has 31 days. Next, June. June has 30 days. Next, July, 31 days. August, again 31 days. And September, September is 5th. So you will be including this 5 and you will be writing 5th, okay? Now you just need to add up all these first. So let's add, this is again easy to add over here. If you take 30 plus 30, 60, 60, and then 30, 90, so you have uh, one, one day extra. Okay, one day is remaining over here, one day. Again, 90 plus 30, 120. 120 plus 30, 150. 150 plus 30, 180. So you are left with one, one days over here. Okay, we need to add. So 180, 180, and here you have again 29. And if you just take this one, this is again making 30. So 180 plus 30, this is 210 days, okay? Now 210, this 5 and this 5 will make 10. So 220, 221, 222, 223. So how many days you are getting if you add this? You are getting 223 days, okay? Now you will be writing 223 days. Now let's divide by seven and check out how many weeks we have. So if you divide this number by seven, what will you get? Seven threes are 21. We are left with one remainder that becomes carried over to the next digit. This is 13. So seven ones are seven and you are left with six extra days. Okay, this is 31 weeks and six extra days. So 31 weeks means it will be again Friday, correct? Because this is Friday. So after 31 weeks, again, it would be Friday. And now you have to add six more days. So what is Friday plus six days? Come on, add Friday plus six days. What will you get? After Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay? So your answer would be 
Thursday. That's it. Is that clear what we are doing over here? So first we are just finding out the number of days here within the range, okay? You will be dividing it by seven, finding out the weeks and extra days, and then you can simply add and find out, okay? Now please take this, uh, you can note this if you want. Okay, now I'll be just taking up one last question. So we will be completing the 10 questions, okay? World Cup cricket began, okay, let me take one easier question. Yes, which of the following is the greatest period of time? You have to just tell me which one is having the greatest duration over here. So 7.15 to 8.10, what is the time duration over here? How many minutes? 7.15 to 8.10. That would be? Yes, it's correct. It's 55 minutes. Okay, the time duration is 55 minutes. 7.15 to 8.15 would be 60 minutes. And it's just 5 minutes less than that. So this is 55 minutes. 12 noon to quarter to one. Quarter to one means 12.45. So what will be the time difference? 12 noon to 12.45. What will be the time difference? Yes, this is 45 minutes. Okay. Now the next one. Quarter past seven. Quarter past seven means 15 minutes past seven. That is 7.15 a.m. So this is 7.15 a.m. Two. This is two. Half past a.m. Half past a.m. means 8 a.m. Half past eight. That is 8.30 a.m. Now find out what's the time duration. 7.15 to 8.15, one hour, and then 15 more minutes. So this is one hour, 15 minutes. Next one, D. Option B says that here you have 3.10 to 3.50. So this is 40 minutes. 50 minus 10, which is 40 minutes. Okay, so now you can see over here, what's the time duration? Okay, here you can see which one is the highest. So which one is having the greatest period of time? It is C, one hour, 15 minutes. That means it is having 60 plus 15, that is 75 minutes. Yes, everyone gave me the correct answer. Very good. Okay, so today we have done with the demo. You also got an idea of how we are going to take the classes. We will be discussing many questions. You will be coming across different types of questions. Even in the worksheet, you will be exploring all type of questions over there, okay? So just let me know in the chat box, how was the demo class? How did you find that? Just let me know, I would be happy to read. Good, outstanding. Okay, nine out of 10. Okay, so Ananya, you're rating me. <laughs> Okay, amazing, really fun. Thank you, very good. Thank you. Okay, very fun, good. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Okay, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so here...
today i have to just end up the session here only and in the regular classes you will be unmuted okay you can interact with me you can talk to me you can raise your queries anything whatever you have okay so hope to see you in the regular classes see you guys bye bye good night